should be a very interesting day. So I'm on my way to the gas station because your boy is beyond low on gas. Haven't really been driving this car for I don't know how many weeks since I came back from vacation. But I need to go get gas. Because believe it or not, I'm selling the focus. Yes, I truly, truly plan on selling this car. Uh, it's still under 50,000 miles. Well, it won't be after today's trip. Um, it'll probably just be just a little over 50,000 because of where I got to drive to, to a dealership that's going to look at it, give me a price for it. Uh, in terms of uh, Kelly Blue Book, Kelly Blue Book, um, it's valued private sale at like 21,000. Um, trade in about 19,000. You know, so honestly, I just want cash from this car. I bought it. I'm um, the one and only owner off the lot uh, back in 2018 when I got the car. And I got it for about, I think MSRP was around 22000 Because at the time I was in the military, so I was able to get uh, some discounts and shit. Uh, it was a Memorial Day weekend sale. And I also traded in my 03 Nissan Maxima, which I got for a thousand dollars. Well, I was able to get a thousand dollar trade in value, so I was able to get the car at you know 21 22,000 off the lot. And I've been the one and only owner. And the only reason why this car actually has so many high fucking miles is when I used to work in Stanford, um, which is about a good shit. It's about a good, uh, it's about a good 30, 50 minute drive twice a day, every day at one point in my life for a whole year. So that put a lot of the fucking miles on the car. So ever since I, um, ever since I came back from working all the way down there from where I live, um, my miles has gone like fucking way low. Like my oil changes. I don't even hit the 3,000 mile mark anymore. It's the three months because I don't even, I really don't drive this car like that. Like I don't, I don't go out at night that much. I don't go, I don't go racing anymore. I don't go to car meets anymore. So it's like, um, yeah, this car just pretty much just looks pretty all the fucking time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuel up real quick. And then uh, we're gonna haul ass on the road and then pretty much tell you what my plans are with uh, just with what I want to do. All right, twenty dollars. Since you know gas prices are so fucking horrible right now, twenty dollars has got your boy the half tank, and that's about it. I don't really, I don't really see myself driving after using this car afterwards anyway. So. So, um, I've actually been thinking about selling my car for a while based off the simple fact that, you know, at the time when I got the car in 2018, you know, I was working, you know, my manager job, another manager job full time in the mall. Um, I was in the military. I was in the reserves. So I was, you know, a weekend warrior, one week in a month shit. And my unit was all the way in New York. So, if anybody doesn't realize, I'm in the Northeast, so my unit was about a good hour away. And I would need to, you know, obviously drive all that there down and back. And my Maxima at the time, even though it was my first car in high school, I had a lot of fun in it, um, did a lot of dumb shit in it. Um, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't reliable anymore. I blew a motor, I blew a tranny. And this was before I even knew anything in terms of, you know, that DE motor, Nissan engines, you know, before that car is the reason why I'm in the cars. But unfortunately for that car, I didn't learn, I didn't learn enough as I should have to keep it alive. So a lot of negligence on my part, but you live and you learn. But that was my favorite car. That was my baby. Honestly, I could sit there and say that that car was my true first love and that when I actually had my first love and we broke up the car letting go of the car hurt a lot more <laughs> i'm just gonna be completely honest um 
and I got this one because when I was in, uh, when I was, for anybody who doesn't know, or if you are in the military, for Army, I was in AIT, Advanced Individual Training, and every morning when we go work out, I used to see like this little, this little fucking hatchback, four door, fucking slammed as fuck on some nice ass chrome wheels and a, and a fucking blow off valve every morning just roll by and I'm like yo what in the fuck is that and it happened to be a Ford Focus an ST but it was the um, I think it was the Mark 2 because this is the Mark 3 because it had the uh, the bubble fog lights the circular fog lights you know obviously I know I got the RS front end but the Mark 3 ST has got the slanted sideways uh, fog lights so yeah I did that um, I was trying to build my credit at the time um, get reliable in terms of payments and shit of that nature so I did it and now it's like I want to you know modify the car and you know yeah I've done a lot to it but it's like I want to throw a big turbo in here this shit costs fucking 4000 for a big turbo kit like and I'm like yeah what the fuck then you know I want to obviously I want to do you know throttle body intake manifold the external blow off valve um, uh, the oil cooler the fucking a new intercooler mad shit I want to do mad shit but for this car it's so fucking expensive because of the year and the fact that it's a 2018 there's like yo it's, it's re and the fact that it's not really like a popular sub popular bought out car you know in terms of any like like i'll probably say the cheapest thing i could get for this car is probably bags i'll probably be able to bag this car for cheap because there's so many motherfuckers who got sts and rs's they just bag the shit out of them like i'm like what the hell so that'll probably be the only cheap thing i could probably do i'm pretty sure doing an air suspension will be cheaper than a big turbo kit and that shit i I'd be mad if I if that's actually true if I look it up. But um so honestly, like, you know, with selling the car and getting the money, they'll be like, well, what you gonna buy next? You know, I, honestly a lot of people ask me, not on social media, not on here, but like the people I actually interact with on a day to day in my personal life, they're like, yo man, but what you gonna get, what you gonna get? I'm like, I'm not gonna buy nothing else. I'm not gonna buy another car, like motherfucker, I'm in debt. <laughs> like I'm using this money to fucking to help me. I'm turning I'm turning this fucking liability into an asset, bro. Like I need to I, I just want the money so I could just clear up a lot of shit in my life right now. And then the little bit of money I got spared over, then I could just dump all that shit into the Fox Body build. Because the Fox Body build, thank God, I still need to buy a good amount of parts. But it's a good thing that those good amount of parts are at least under five hundred dollars. Like it's a good thing that build is a pretty good build like i'm not like there's a lot of shit that i'm probably i may may not cut corners on but i gotta wrap that shit up like summer's already here it's already june and the shit's not even done yet and i'm kind of mad about it because when i started building the car i was doing doordash and all this other shit like i had i had my own time like i was single because as of right now yes i am in a relationship so i was single doing my own thing and i had a lot of time in the world you know, I was making money, but I still have mad time to do what I want to do. And right now, with having a full-time job and obviously being in a relationship, uh, it's a little different, you know. So it's like, and, but mainly it's the it's the job that's holding me up because, like, like it's not it's not the relationship. I don't want it to sound like as if it's the relationship that's holding me up. It's really the job. Like the job is like mad fucking stupid. Full time. I'm only working. I'm pretty much only working nights so it's like i need the nights to work on the car like because i don't got no lights in my garage yet so it's gonna force me to put lights in my garage which means i gotta spend money on that instead of spending money on parts on the car so it's just a lot of dumb shit going on right now and selling the car is gonna help your boy out a lot and when i mean a lot i mean a lot um i got it up on facebook marketplace offer up you know, I'm asking for 22,000 or best offer, and honestly, the best offer I wouldn't go nowhere below 15,000 cash. Like, 
if anybody was to come at me with less than fifteen thousand dollars, I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll probably send them to the locations of, to my nearest fucking jail because that's what I need to go. That shit is dumb. Like, nah, get out of my face, bro. So yeah, I'm heading to a dealership right now. I don't have the car's paid off, and the thing that sucks is is that with a lot of stuff that was going on in my personal life a year ago, a lot of um, personal issues, um, my lean my lien paperwork didn't come directly to me it got sent to somebody else and i had it resent about i you know called them up and had them resent it about two weeks ago so i'm still waiting on the lien paperwork to come in so i could go get the full title because the car is paid off in full so it's like it's just too much you know it's just retarded it's a lot of dumb shit going on and you know if the dealership wants to sit there and try to chop me at my knees because i got a different front bumper different rear bumper different wing no back seats no cat down pipe and no original air intake i'm just gonna be like well i could drop all that shit off too y'all because i still got the original stuff so you're not paying for cards you'd just be pretty much paying the, the, the guys that are already on salary to get it done so like i said even with all the modifications i've done to this car i still have the original pieces like i really do and there's a reason why i kept them just in case if i was to sell the car and somebody wants to be like oh but it's not original all right then fine here i got all the original pieces there you go so let's just see what happens i'm supposed to be there at 9 30 i'm like mad fucking early um but honestly i'm just look, using it like I, I don't plan on i don't ever th i don't think that the car is gonna get completely taken off my hands like today type shit um, if it does, I'll be fucking surprised and it'll be a miracle, but, um, it'll be good to get, just get like a, like maybe a good estimate of how much they would take the car off me from so that maybe I could gauge and get some info on the next dealership or cause I know I got a CarMax, um, probably a good, maybe 30, 40 minutes away from where I live. So I could definitely head out to that and also get another good price on shit but yes yeah, so that's pretty much what i'm doing today and you know what's going on with this car and you know things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, vibe out to some music until i get there and if anything happens shit if the car gets sold i'll record it if the car doesn't get sold i'll record it I'll, <laughs> anything that happens i'll make sure to record it, give an update and see what's going on so I'm going to definitely catch y'all on the next, well, not the next one, but I'll catch y'all with y'all in a little bit. We'll see what's going to happen. One week later. Oh, so obviously, I didn't get to sell the car to the dealership. Yo, what's going on? So like a week later, uh, a week has gone by since the last clip. Yep, the dealership then, a uh, the guy checked it out and whatever, didn't want to take the car because it's too heavily modified. This is what he said okay and also because i messed up my dash taking it out the cluster for the last time and well i messed up something and my uh, my mileage gauge ain't reading the tech the the speedometer and the rpm shit ain't working whatever like all right cool i mean they could have easily just popped in the obd reader tell you how many miles it's got but you know they probably didn't want to deal with it. I told them I have everything original still. Front bumper, rear bumper, wheels, shit, even a spoiler still. Back seats, like I still have everything. I never got rid of any car parts for this car that I took off. So they didn't want to take it. All right, cool. But today I got an appointment with CarMax. So I've had too many people that I know personally. And it was like, yo, bro, just take it to CarMax, you know? So hopefully, fingers crossed today, bro. I got my title work registration everything so hopefully plan is carmax is gonna take it off my hands today so all i'm gonna do is probably just put a little bit of gas in it because we got a little bit of a drive and hopefully carmax takes it and if carmax doesn't take the car then uh, uh, i'm gonna have to think of a plan b with this shit honestly i, I really am so but i'll go ahead and uh, hopefully give an update later whether Am I gonna keep the car or am I gonna get or am I gonna be able to sell the car today? I'm really hoping I get to sell this car today. Like I said, I'm pretty much done with it. Like in terms of right now, I'd rather have the money over, 
you know, building it any more than what it is because I got the, the Mustang and I'm pretty sure I can find another more, a much more fun car to build than this one. I mean, had my ideas, had my fun, but you know, it's just time to move on. So I'll go ahead and update y'all later to see what happens, whether I keep it or not. So shit, stay tuned for that one. Obviously, you still see me sitting in the car, right? Bro, I want to smack the shit out of somebody in CarMax, bro. They legit appraised my shit $6,500. Mind you, I am the one and only owner. The car is 100% paid off. I have the full 100% title paperwork. No accidents in this car at all. And it is under 50,000 miles. It is still under 50,000 miles as a 2018 vehicle. And honestly, most of the miles that I gained on this car was when I used to work like three, two to three towns away from where I live for like a whole year. They appraised my car at a price that used fucking Civics be going for right now. Like, so the fact that my 2018 is a, is appraised and valued at the same amount as a fucking used Honda Civic is crazy. All I can say here and say is, uh, fuck CarMax. Some real shit, fuck CarMax. So what I'm gonna have to do is keep the pictures that I already previously took. Go back up on Kelly Blue Book and try to find a way to let them put ads out there and help me sell my car because obviously this shit is just not working. Y'all, I'm, like, I'm fucking pissed, bro. It's like I'm not in a rush or a need to sell the car, but it's just like I'd rather have the money. There's really nothing for me to do with this car. This shit is fucking modifications for this fucking car are fucking expensive because it's a rare ass fucking car that they made and shit so you know what i'm saying it's just like eh, it's like i'm stuck with so many options right now it's like fuck it do i send it do i just like balls to the wall fully upgrade this bitch say like, fuck it just destroy this shit do i like i don't know like my like this shit is crazy like it's missing at least ten thousand dollars off that uh, appraisal offer So, I'll catch y'all on the next update video with the Fox Body or the Quad, whichever one comes first. So, I'll see y'all on the next one. So, now we see how much CarMax appraised my 2018 Focus ST for. Bye, sellers beware. I was about to say buyers beware. Sellers beware, man. This market, they need cars to sell, right? They need cars to sell. But they trying to sit here and they trying to screw you over for your car, man. But it's cool, though. All we can simply do Straight up Alright y'all I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one man This shit was funny as hell This was a good learning curve for me though It really was So I catch Stick with your boy See you on the next one